Today's podcast hopes to help you find ways to let go of any anger towards someone who rejected you. Okay, so before I really go into the nuts and bolts of today's podcast, let's let's go ahead and assume two things. One, you are listening to this podcast for a reason because maybe someone rejected you and you feel some type of resentment or anger towards that person and you're interested in letting go. Okay, that's the first premise. Second premise uh, that's going to act as my segue into this podcast is designed to adjust the narrative, rewrite the narrative here. This uh, woe is me thought process. Let's get out of that. First, you're listening to this because maybe you, you have been rejected and you're angry towards somebody for being rejected. Um, the question you should ask yourself is why are you mad? You should be happy. Do you really want to be in a relationship with someone who rejects you, who doesn't want to be with you? You ever hear that old saying, um, happy marriages don't end in divorce? Well, relationships where one person despises or rejects the other, those don't end well. <laughs> And if you end up getting married, it's not going to end well either. So let's go ahead and adjust the narrative right now. Be happy you are just feeling rejected and not in a bad relationship that's going to only end in turmoil or an expensive divorce. And then you're going to have that rejection plus that anger plus all that divorce pain. And if you really want to learn about, you know, feelings of anger and resentment and divorce pain, you can listen to my other podcast too. So in the end, just remember it's ultimately better this way because no healthy, rewarding relationship ever comes out of a, a place where someone doesn't show that they love you. Something else you can ask yourself is whether it was meant to be. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. That's one of the mechanisms through which life in this universe takes place. There's a lot more between heaven and earth than we can ever imagine. So the sooner we accept nothing happens by chance, the easier our life path will be. If people don't stay, it's because your life paths were meant to follow different directions. Remember, human beings are very complex. Love is equally complex. It's like playing the lottery, the lottery of love. To the lot, it's like a lottery to find love and to be loved. Believe me, you are much happier without someone who was never able to love you the way you needed. Okay, so thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience as I attempted to ex explain this important fundamental concept. So now let's let's talk about ways to overcome rejection. Handling rejection is not an easy thing to do and hardly anyone does it right. Here are a few things you should do after facing rejection. One, go for a detailed self-analysis. There is a 50% chance that the reason why you got rejected is valid and a 50% chance that other factors which had no control over led to the rejection. Analyze all of those reasons and if you feel the need to change something in, is in your own self, then go ahead. It will definitely help you become a better person. Two, 
Being rejected can have a direct impact on the self-esteem of a person, and as a result, most people seclude themselves from the crowd, which later on makes them all the more miserable. Indulge in activities that make you happy so that you can divert your mind. Be around friends and family and always try to be cheerful. Three, prepare yourself. You might soon be in a similar situation and that might scare you. Mentally prepare yourself for such a situation. You will succeed and even if you don't, take it as a lesson and work on yourself a little more this time. I hope this helps. Thank you for listening. Please consider subscribing.